Hey, everybody out there in YouTube land. Today's question is, to factor or not to factor? Stay tuned. Let's talk about it. To factor or not to factor? That is the question. Hopefully I've got an answer for you. So, you decided you're going to go hot shot trucking. You're going to make a lot of money. You're going to conquer the world. You're going to you know, do great things. And hopefully you can. And with the right mindset and the right tools in place, you can do just that. You can do anything you set your mind to. The only person standing in your way is yourself. So, you decided you're going to start your hot shot trucking company, and you bought your truck, you bought your trailer, you got your MC number, your DOT number, you got your insurance. And you start thinking, hey, man, wow, this is great. I've got my own business. I'm going to set my own destiny the future is bright and i can't wait for everything to happen and then you say well okay now you learn the truth about how this works you know there's plenty of freight out there to haul plenty of loads you can go from the Carolinas to California, from Maine to Florida, from Texas to North Dakota. You can go anywhere. But most of the brokers that you work with have terms of net 30 days. This means after you pick up that load, drive X amount of miles, deliver that load, send in your invoice with your bill of lading. At that point, you have 30 days to wait on your check to come in the mail so you can deposit it. So let's take this for an example. Let's say you loan a loan in um, New York, and it's going to California. And let's say it's 2,500 miles. And let's say they're paying $5,000 to do this 2,500-mile run. And let's say your truck's going to get just for mathematical um, say you're going to get seven miles to the gallon of fuel so you divide seven in the 2500 and you get roughly you know 350 gallons of fuel you're going to burn going out to California and let's say it's going to take you at least five days going out there. Maybe four, but more, more realistic, five. You've got 350 gallons of fuel you've got to buy at, let's just say, $3 a gallon. So there's 1100 you know, there's... Um, thousand fifty dollars in fuel if you're in a hot shot truck unless you have a sleeper berth put on it a sleeper you can't legally sleep in your truck and under your sleeper berth so that means you're going to have to rent a hotel room and let's just say you can rent a hotel room for 60 bucks a night 
noon and you rent one for four nights. That's another two hundred and forty dollars. And that saying eat and you eat very conservatively and you eat fifteen dollars a day. You use fifteen dollars a day for meals. No, five days that's another seventy five dollars. So now you're up to you no know, roughly uh fifteen hundred bucks out of your pocket and you haven't even delivered the loads yet. So once you get the loan delivered, you hurry and make your invoice out and you send it into the brokering company that you got and that starts starting gates. So thirty days after that, they'll cut you a check and let's say it takes two days to get your check. So by the time you get deposited in your bank, you're looking at about 37 to 40 days before it actually becomes funds that you can use. Then you get a loan from California back to New York. Same scenario. And let's say you do that four times that month. And you know, re realistically, you could do that. So, in a month's time, you had our pocket expenses of a bare minimum of $6,000. And at the end of the month, you got the one check for 5000 You're still, still $1,000 in the negative. Now, if you got the money to run off of, or credit cards for fuel and stuff that you can delay payments, you can make that work. But let's give a worst case scenario. Say that broker that you do that loan for goes out of business after you do that loan. You're out $5,000. And unless they have a bond, and you have to file on their bond, their security bond, uh, you're screwed. So, here comes in factoring. Do I factor or do I not factor? Factoring companies are everywhere. You know, I first heard of factoring back in the 80s, and I didn't know, I, you know, I thought it was crazy. I had a buddy of mine that actually went to a seminar on factoring, and he signed up to be a factorer. And he said, yeah, you know, you have invoices, we'll buy them from you and pay you. I said, man, I'll wait on my money. Well, um, now, you know, 30 some years later, 40 years later, I see the need for factoring. Because if you do the average $5,000 a week revenue, hot shotting, which you can, you know, you do it for 30 days, that's, you know, do it every week, that's $20,000. And unless you got money that you can set aside to run your operation off of and fund that out of pocket, it's not a good thing to have to nickel and dime this and worry about when you're going to get paid. So here comes the factoring company. You sign up with a factoring company, and factoring companies I've seen charge as little as 3% for recourse, and up to 7% for non-recourse. I uh, recommend uh, a company, Triumph Business Capital, you know, they're not paying me to say that, um, or recommend them, but I've worked with them for about um, six years now, 
and I've never had them go back on anything they've seen to a trucking company that I represent. Um, I've never seen them do a recourse on any funding they did, even if the brokering company went out of business. I've never had a problem with them one time on any invoice that I've sent in for a trucking company that I dispatch for. And I'm going to have a, uh, another video coming up about dispatching service. But, uh, so I recommend Triumph Business Capital. Great company. Um, it's uh, fairly easy to get on board and, you know, based on what kind of revenue you do and how many trucks you have, um, that's going to set the percentage uh, of what they charge to factor in your loans. And basically when you factor, once you get, you know, and most factoring companies, I know Triumph does, they will advance you on the loan. So let's say a loan pays a thousand dollars. They will advance you, I believe, forty percent of that for your expenses taking the loan. So you know you got four hundred dollars to buy your fuel, to buy your food, to pay your hotel rooms on the way to deliver that loan. And then once you get the loan delivered, you send in your bill of lading and your invoice and a copy of the rate con to the factoring company and try up if you have your uh, paperwork in by one o'clock central time, they will factor and fund that loan by the end of the business day, which means you'll have that money in your banking account before close of business. You don't have to wait 30 days, you don't have to do, do anything but send that paperwork in to try them. And they or your factoring company, and they factor it. Everything said none. Don't worry about it. Now, some factoring companies will hold twenty percent until the loan is paid. So let's say that same loan that paid a thousand dollars, you and they let's say for just mathematics sake, they're charging. 5%. So they were going to make $50 off of buying that invoice. So when you send that invoice in, you've already got $400. So realistically, they owe you $550 because they take out their $50 off the top. So you're going, they're going to send you the remainder um the balance which would be you know eighty percent of nine hundred and fifty dollars is roughly um I don't know for um well let me just figure it out. I don't wanna let me get over here on my calculator and get it up on board. Um nine hundred and fifty times 80% will leave you $760 minus the 400 you already got. So you'll get $360. Then once that loan pays out to Triumph, they owe you basically $190. So you've already, already, or always got money coming and you say well man I need my the rest of it well uh, some factoring companies do pay you a hundred percent after they take their percentage out but they charge more percentage for doing that they're not giving you that hundred percent for you know a lesser charge so um, 
But then at the end of the day, you got your money, and you can pay your bills, you can pay your truck payment, your insurance payment, your trailer payment, and you can pay yourself. And then it runs a whole lot smoother than not than having to keep up with who's paid you, who's not paid you, you know, and all this. So do I recommend factoring? Yes. If you're going to be in business for yourself and you're starting out and you don't have a boatload of money that you can finance your accounts receivables with, I suggest factoring. If I was not going to factor, I would at least want to have um, a month's worth um, revenue in the main before I went and factor. So if you say, well, I'm planning on, you know, generating at least $20,000 a month, I would have at least $20,000 in the main before I would consider not factoring. And let's face it, most of us don't have $20,000 in the main. So I would do research on factoring companies, seek one with a non-recourse. That means that if the brokering company or the company you're hauling for goes out of business and does not pay that invoice, the factoring company is not going to come back after you and take that money back out of your account. Recourse means that they will come and take that money. And most of the time, factoring companies that have a small percentage rate, like 2 or 3 percent, that comes with a recourse activation. Meaning, if they don't get that money within the terms of the agreement, like if it's net 30 days, legally, and per their contract, the 31st day, they can take that money out of your account. Now, they might get paid in the 32nd or 33rd day, and then they'll put that money back in your account. But it's just a big headache, and it's adding aggravation that you don't need. So if I was going to factor, I would seek out a factoring company with a non-recourse um, factoring um, clause in your contract. So I hope this answers some questions for you. If you like the video, please hit like. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll be glad to answer all of them. And you know, be safe out there. You know, uh, hot shot trucking is not for everyone. Be safe. And always, God bless. God's got your back. And through Him, anything is possible. Till next time. Bye-bye.